This is a waste disposal plant in Mikasa City of Hokkaido Prefecture. The facility, which handles medical waste, processes around one ton of waste per day, gathered from medical institutions in and around the city. These boxes contain infectious wastes, divided into liquids, solids, and hazardous substances, which have been checked by the hospitals. They contain infectious diseases. They mustn't spread, so we can't open the boxes. Other wastes include used syringes, empty intravenous bags, and paper diapers. Medical waste is difficult to treat because of contamination with infectious agents. This facility has innovative equipment for treating everything in one single step, without incineration. This is the equipment. It is known as subcritical water processing equipment. It is capable of decomposing all kinds of organic matter, from paper to vinyl, plastic, kitchen garbage, and even wastewater sludge. First, we'll look at plastic boxes. Everything will be pulverized inside the machine, so even boxes of this size may be thrown in whole. These are vinyl containers. Finally, these are used paper and cloth diapers. There is no need to sort the waste according to type. Everything is processed at once. Then, an hour later, The discharge hatch is opened, and decomposed waste pours out as a dirt-like substance. There is no pungent smell typical of waste, but it has a pleasant smell like that of tomato soy sauce. Is this soil? No, it's oil cake. So further treatment can even make it flammable. The waste has been completely decomposed. Inorganic matter, such as silicon and metal parts, cannot be decomposed, but they can easily be removed later. It depends on the type of waste, but here, the volume has been reduced to around one-third of what it originally was. It has been sterilized and made harmless, so there is no problem whatsoever in burying it as it is. So how is the waste decomposed? The secret lies in the subcritical water. It refers to water in a particular state. Water at one atmosphere boils and vaporizes at 100 degrees Celsius. But raising the air pressure in an enclosed space prevents it from boiling when the temperature exceeds 100 degrees Celsius. This is because the water molecules are prevented from evaporating freely by the pressure exerted on it by the air. Continuing raising the temperature and pressure in this state takes the temperature up to 200 degrees Celsius at 20 atmospheres, at which point the water turns into a vapor-like state. This is subcritical water. It is a state in which the water molecules that have been pressed together reach their limit and begin to separate and bounce around violently inside the chamber. In this state, other molecules that enter the water are immediately broken down. The subcritical water processing equipment makes use of this property of subcritical water. After the waste has been thrown in, Steam is blown into the tank to raise its temperature and pressure, generating subcritical water. Materials such as paper, plastic, vinyl, and wood chips are all organic matter formed by chains of carbon. 
These chains are broken into smaller molecules of organic matter by the subcritical water. This renders them harmless before being removed from the discharge hatch. The subcritical water processing equipment is able to decompose vegetable waste such as onion skin, the discarded internal organs of scallops, kitchen garbage, waste paper, plastics, sawdust, wastewater sludge, clothes, and other such wastes. It can break down anything made of organic matter. The process basically requires only water, making it very safe. It also differs from incineration in that there is no danger of air pollution or discharge dioxins. Everything used to be incinerated before deployment of this equipment, so there used to be a huge smokestack outside the building, which has now been replaced with a small chimney that only discharges steam. Fuel costs are low compared to incineration. It also doesn't give off odors or smoke. In that sense, it's environmentally friendly. Apart from the subcritical water processing equipment, there is a variety of equipment for processing other materials. There is the odor ejector and a pressure separator for treating wastewater and sludge. And using these in combination with an activated sludge membrane separator allows the treatment of a variety of industrial wastes. The decomposed waste is pure organic matter. It can also be used as high quality organic fertilizer. Moreover, changing the pressure inside the equipment can turn the discharge matter into any form, from powdered to liquid fertilizer. High quality fertilizer can be made from any kind of waste, enabling profits to be made from selling it. There is a farmer who has actually been using this fertilizer. Mr. Sakuta, who has been involved in organic farming for many years and is widely known for his achievements, has been using this fertilizer since six years ago. This fertilizer was wastewater sludge before it was decomposed. Thorough safety tests were apparently carried out by customers. They carried out analyses, for example, to test for heavy metals. I was worried too, but they found nothing wrong with it. Mr. Sakuta too personally had the fertilizer examined by a food analyzer in Tokyo, so its safety is guaranteed. Not only that, this fertilizer contains amino acids, which he has found boosts harvests. I've been carrying out research into compost, not chemical fertilizers, for 20 years. But the compost I just scattered over the ground was developed recently. It's somewhat of a shock that it's turned out to be better than the compost that I've made. The subcritical water processing equipment is set to become the new answer to a recycling society. And the sky is the limit for its potential.